Hey guys, welcome back to Vex. In the last part, we just finished off the below, not the under, and now we're moving on to one of my least favorite worlds, Dagger Crag. Now, Dagger Crag, it's cool and all, but it's just hard. It's like they take you from the easy stuff in the below, and they just throw you into the, the really tough stuff here. I mean, it's not really that bad, it's just that most of the jumping here, if you miss a jump, then you're dead. And that's what I don't like about it. I'd kill you. Jeez, I wonder if that's too loud. I don't think it is. But, um, anyway, let's see here. Just go ahead and keep following the signs, as always. Uh, these platforms will, um, let's see here, they will, like, dip depending on where you jump on them. So if you jump near the edges, like toward the middle, they'll uh, go into the middle and stuff. Anyway, go ahead and jump up here and keep on going here. Now, we're, this really isn't my most hated world, but it's probably my second most hated world. We're, um, what's kind of funny is that I really love... Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to spoil what my most hated world is, so I'll just leave that for when we actually get to it. But anyway, uh, just go ahead and move, jump across these moving platforms. I don't really know why they put those there. They're not like a hard thing to get past or anything, but I guess they gave them to us, so we gotta jump across them. Anyway, uh, go ahead and kill that guy, uh, or just punch him in the face. And then, um, just go ahead and run in this door. Now, this mission can be a little bit tricky, because what you gotta do is, okay, help me clear this place out, please. Of course, they get a random supporting character that we'll never see again. Anyway, basically, you have a minute to clear this place out of enemies. Which, uh, is easier said than done, because there is a ton to kill. And it, it includes these worms. And those worms, if they grab you, they'll throw you and just waste your time. Okay, got him. And, uh, that's... That's really the only hard part about this, and also just, like, missing one of them. Because they're in some weird places. Okay, kill okay, you... Now, uh, one thing I'd recommend is come up into the fountain and grab this life, because if you don't do this in time, you actually die. So if you want to just stay good with your lives, then just grab the life. But I got that on the first shot, so that was good. Thank you! Come here, I have something for you! Well, I hope he's not like Darby, where he just betrays us and then steals our random stick from, you know, the random other supporting character that we'll only see once in the game, as far as I know. But anyway, he will give you a Wraith Heart, of course, because, you know, what else are we going to get? Anyway, grab your Wraith Heart, and that's about it. Holy crap, man. Two or three minutes, we've already got our heart. That's pretty good. I was kind of worried about this world being the first one that it takes more than four videos to do, but things are looking up already. So, yeah, that's good. Anyway, go ahead and put your heart back in the freaking thingy. Come on, let's go, Vex. You take too long doing that. Okay, that is Timberdale. Um, aha. Here we go. First time the world has been on the right. All right, here we go. Reward awaits discovery, but who will earn the crown? Enemies may thwart recovery, but don't let them get you down. Now, I do believe I know where this one is, because this one... That's kind of a distinctive rhyme intro for it, so yeah. Uh, here, let's see. Um... I do believe that we have to... Okay, stop saying do believe, man. It's not cool. Ah, yes, we do have to go down here. Now, uh, just go ahead and go on down. You're going to be sliding down these platforms, so just watch out. And just take it slow and try not to move to the side like I just was. And uh, this platform, it'll take you back up. Anyway, just go ahead and come on in here. Alright, now in here we have a giant elevator. So basically all you do is you just get on the elevator and you kill enemies. That's really about it. It's not hard at all. But anyway, let's kill some things. Alright, so basically I do... I, okay, don't say that anymore, man. Jeez. Um, I think that all you have to do is, you know, you just kill enemies and then it, it moves up. So I think that's really all you gotta do. It's not hard at all. Okay, die. Ah, hold on, wait a minute. I'm gonna go in rage mode here. Rage mode! Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Wow, look at all those health pickups. Alright, that was really, really easy. Oh, I see what you gotta do. I think it's like, as you kill more enemies, the thing becomes lighter and it moves up. So, yeah. Hey, it actually makes sense. Like, we're, we're decreasing the, like, the weight on it to make it move up. Come on, I gotta destroy one of them. Yeah, oh. That's like the coolest combo I've ever seen. Just when he just goes crazy on them. 
It's like he's pretending these enemies are Yabu. But trust me, you're not able to do that to Yabu, like, ever. Good gosh, Yabu is hard. I, on my practice run of this game, I didn't beat him. That's how hard he is. I only got, like, halfway through his health, and that was it. I've never beaten him yet, so, yeah. So let me say that he is very hard, and if you're playing this game, then you're going to have trouble with him. Oh, let's see here. Okay, kill you. Okay, how much longer? Oh, thank you. All right. Once you get close enough to the heart, just by killing stuff, then you will just have to, you know, jump up and grab it. So, anyway, let's see here. Come on. Come on, Vex. Load so that you can put it back in the thing, and we can move on. All right, come on. Okay, put it back in. All right, let's see if I can get in there. Oh, it didn't work. All right, anyway, here, let's keep going. Now, a chamber full... Oh, gosh. I hate this one. This one is evil. Uh, I fully expect to be... I mean... Oh, yeah, actually, I fully expect to be stumped on this one for a little while. More than a little while. Ow. Jeez, holy crap. Man, he almost knocked me off and got me killed. But anyway, uh, come right here in this hole. Now, this is probably going to be the last one in the video if I manage to get it in the video. Anyway, uh, what you got to do, these blocks are breakable. So what you got to do is you have to um, jump up and break them in an order that is that lets you get up to where the heart is. And this is far, far easier said than done. Let me just tell you that right now. Um, even though I'm actually having a really good time with this right now. Ah, jeez. Now that switch in the middle of the room, that switch will allow you to um, reset the blocks. Crap. Dang it. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to figure out a way, because I can't do the, the flare kick to get up to them. So I'm trying to be as careful as possible. Ah, here we go. There we go. That's better. Much better. All right. Now. Oh, no. Uh, you see, it can go bad for you just that fast. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm going to start over here, because this seems like a better place to start the breaking. Okay, and, um, let's see. Ah, jeez. Um. Oh, boo. All right, here. Let's try this again. I might just speed this up because this is impossibly boring, you know. Ah, no. Ugh, well, at least I broke them. Jeez, man, look how much health I've already lost. I'm already at half health. No. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to speed this up. I'm just going to lessen the torture for you guys. So anyway, uh, just keep trying to break the friggin' blocks. Now, you can actually go on game facts and um, get, like, the actual combination that they found out for this. But I'm just doing this just, like just with my own experience. Nope, dang it. And of course you can do that to stop your fall if you're falling over an area that's not really important anymore. So yeah, uh, let me see here. Oh, come on, I'm just trying to break those middle ones. Let me see here. Okay, come on, go back up. Gosh, this is such a waste of time. Okay, now, thank you. All right, now, uh, that should be good. Yes, it is. Yay, I got the heart, finally. Ugh, that was annoying. Anyway, ugh. Well, that's three hearts, but I'm still at just nine minutes. I have, like, two minutes, and after speeding all that up, then I probably have enough time to do another one, depending on what it is. So, I'm going to see what's next. I'm going to see if I can do four hearts in one freaking video. That would just be amazing. Ooh, hey, we unlocked the last world. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Come on, what is this last one? Mm -hmm. All right, a sandy theme for curtain needs mummy to take a... Oh, gosh, no. I can't do this one right now because this one takes a long time. So I guess in the next part, we will take on the boss of this area, so I'll see you then.